What's up everyone, Odin here. Today we are going to do a deep dive of the new Quake Champions map, Exile. In this video, I'm going to talk about all the weapon locations, the major item locations, small armor locations. I'll also tell you how the portals work, where they lead to, as well as some various positions on the map that you need to be aware of, both for power positions and for positions you basically want to avoid so you don't uh, die too much. So let's begin right here. We are conveniently uh, spawned right at rockets. So here are rockets. Rockets are located at the edge of the map here. All right. It's basically at the jump pad located to mega armor. All right. And when you are learning the locations of uh, the weapons and such like that, you really want to create mental pictures of what they are associated with. So if you say rockets, you should have a mental picture that basically looks like this area with this jump pad with, with Mega Armor right here. It'll just help you um, categorize the sections of the map. So instead of just trying to remember where rockets are uh, in it by itself, uh, you, can, you can create little um, mental notes like this, okay? So that's rockets. Rockets are going to be especially useful on this map because it's pretty small. And there's a lot of um, higher advantageous positions that you can use, you know, to basically rain down rockets, okay? Now, the next major weapon that you want to focus on is LG. I'll just show you where it is, all right, in relationship to rockets. So rockets are up here. LG is right there, all right? So the fastest way, actually, in my opinion, to get to rockets without, you know, exposing yourself too much would to be would be to use this upper passage like this all right and then just kind of take a quick look here and you can drop down oop, and you can drop down and grab it like this okay so that's where lg is lg here this is the lg room kind of make a mental note of what this looks like okay the lg room leads to the nail gun spawn it also has the banana all right and it also has a jump pad right here, leading to this small armor, which we'll talk about, okay? Now, the only other one that we need to pay attention to is the railgun. The railgun in relationship to the LG is actually on a sub-level right down here, okay? It's actually like right here. Uh, from here, the fastest way would probably be to come this way, come over here, jump up here, and uh, here is railgun. So those are the three major weapon item positions on this map. Uh, you really want to focus on at least always having rockets. Rail is cool, but um, this weapon has a lot of tight, or this the, this map has some, some tight areas, lines of sight, where uh, if you're not too comfortable with rail, you may want to, you know, you can just actually kind of forget about this weapon. But rockets are absolutely essential. So remember, if you spawn over here, all right, or you spawn over here at uh, HMG, Rockets are up here. All right, so let's go back to rockets. Start. So we'll use the starting position again. Okay. Remember, LG down there. You can actually even jump. You can see it here. Right down there. There are rockets. And then rail is down there. Okay, so now let's go through the other uh, weapons on the map. All right, this is the main area of the map basically the center portion of the map where a lot of action is going to happen uh, you the machine gun is located here and then this is the machine gun room i'll call it it's basically connected directly to shotgun room and also has the entrance to rail okay but uh this is a particular room you don't want to spend a lot of time in but let's move on shotgun is right here leads basically centrally the the other central part of the map leads to every other uh part so you got mega armor okay leads to hmg and then this little corridor here you can either hit this jump pad to go up to this level or you can loop loop around here to go to the lg or you have a uh portal here which we'll go over in just a second okay now uh let's continue this way because here are nail nails this is the nail gun location all right overlooks kind of the uh, machine gun location here and it leads to the lg room all right 
It also leads to this jump pad here, which we're going to use now because our drive bolt is right there. Okay. So that takes care of all the weapons on the map. Uh, you really want to know where they all are, where they are all situated. Uh, if you're going to play any type of duel or you're going to play in the map in general, uh, you need to have weapons because you're not going to get too far with just the starting weapons, especially on this map. All right. So again, above all else, prioritize grabbing the rockets. You need the rockets on this map. There's a lot of action going on, uh, it, you know, and it's one of the best ways that you're going to get kills on this map. All right. Now that we have weapon item locations, uh, let's talk about the major item. So obviously here's the major item. This is the mega armor this is probably one of the worst parts of the map to be stuck in you can be shot from here you can be shot from up here you can be shot from up here engaged in here so if the mega armor is if the if the mega armor is not up just or hard, heavy armor excuse me if heavy armor is not up just don't even bother coming down here um stay above on the top level there's no reason to be down here okay uh moving along we have the Mega Health, which is here, and the power-up item, the quad damage or protection, will spawn at this location right here. Um, obviously, if you're playing dual, there's no um, major item there. But we have Mega Health here, he uh, Heavy Armor down here. All right, so they're on the opposite sides of the map. That's something to know. Uh, this, again, this Mega Position is actually quite precarious. It's really, you know, kind of tucked in here. You have really nowhere to go. Uh, you need to be mindful of grabbing this because you can be engaged from various aspects of the map. For example, there is a clear line of sight from rail to here. Um, I've already got a bunch of kills of people literally in mid-jump right here, and I rail them, and they don't get mega. Uh, so it's a really good line of sight to uh, be aware of. Next, after the major item locations, uh, there, you want to talk about the small armors. The small armors are extremely important, uh, especially if you're playing uh, team games, because uh, small armor armors are going to be uh, a great source of armor uh, in general, because uh, the heavy only spawns every 30 seconds. There's going to be a lot of a contestation for the heavy. So let's talk about uh, small armors. So there are three small armors on the map. Let's talk about the obvious ones first. So this is a small armor down here, uh, and just just so you know, if you don't feel comfortable, you know, trying to do a like a half circle jump to make this jump here, you can actually just run like this. Okay, you can just run like that. All right. Now, ironically, that leads us to the second small armor location. So just remember that small armor was down there by the rail. Okay. The other small armor location is at LG that we just talked about earlier at this jump pad. So this is the other small armor. This small armor can be basically accessed directly from this jump pad. It can be accessed from this jump pad and then across this little uh, bridge here. It can be accessed from the TP, which we'll talk about in a second, but you can do this. All right, so there's a couple different ways that you can approach getting the small armor there, all right? Now, there's one more small armor. You may have been like, Odin, that's the most obvious one. Why don't you talk about that one first? Because this one actually can be accessed in a number of different ways. Obviously, I'm with Athena, so I could just do that. Oh, there you go. And there, I've got it now. But there's a couple different ways I want you to uh, be aware of so that you're not um, you know, making it so hard on yourself. Um, let me show you something. So you can actually just walk right across this ledge. So if you spawn at nails, you can be like, boop, right across. Um, pretty simple. If you need a small health bubble, you absolutely can do a half circle jump there. No problem. Um, that's pretty cool. You can also, um, if you're up here on the bridge, you, there's this little space here where if you walk off and you keep holding forward, and you keep forward momentum, you'll land right here. You can also access this. But you'll notice there's this little room here that seemingly needs to nothing, right? But if you look up, there's a little hole here, okay? This hole uh, is a seems to be go unnoticed by a lot of people, but this hole is directly uh, uh, across from the Mega right here. So you could, uh, in theory, for example, grab the Mega, boop, and then just kind of escape through the hole here. And now you're not really in that line of sight from the rail anymore, and you can kind of, you know, you get some other options there, okay? So that's, those are the different ways that, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Those are the different ways that um, 
this uh, armor can be accessed. Now, there is a movement specific ability here that Athena can do. Um, I think Ranger could probably do it with the orb, but with Athena, it's far easier. And that is, Athena can actually rope up through here. So if you just come in here, you just go right to the wall, you hug, you look straight up, hit the rope. Oops, I see I did it wrong. Hit the rope, hit the left directional or whatever, and you can just rope right up here. And so, bam, you're right up here. So that is something that Athena can do with her champion ability. That's something to keep in mind. Now let's talk about some of the other small items. For example, the hourglasses and the health bubbles. You would think, um, you know, okay, health bubbles, big deal. But health bubbles, again, very important to keep your health up. Um, very often, a lot of people are not really paying attention to them. So we're going to talk about where to find them. So there's basically a scattering of health bubbles on every level. On this upper level, there's one here. Okay. Between, I don't know, we'll call this like the corridor between rockets and, I don't know, let's say the heavy machine gun room on the top level. So there's one there. There's one directly across rockets up here on this little uh, bridge overlooking uh, heavy armor. All right. And then there is one up here, right there, on the opposite side of this armor. So that's three of the six, okay? If we continue down here, there's one right here at shotgun. We go this way. There's one right here at nail gun. And then there's actually one hidden in the banana by this small armor back here, all right? But if you know, for example, you're pretty low on health. Oh, I forgot one more. Well, just just thinking about it, just realized I forgot about it. There's one right here. All right, so by rail. So there, there they are. I think that's six. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But now I know all the locations of the small health bubbles. Now, these hourglasses are equally as important. For example, if you're Anarchy or in my case, Athena, I want to keep my grappling hooks always maxed out. There are six hourglasses um, on the map. They're kind of in different sections of the map here. So we have two right here in this little bridge corridor area connecting from uh, uh, machine gun to basically this little tucked away room between rail and armor. Uh, this is can be accessed you know, from here. You can jump up from here. You can fall down from here you, to get these hourglasses, okay? There are two more hourglasses. Actually, you remember we just looked at this section here. Two more hourglasses here tucked behind in this banana with the small health bubble. And then there are two hourglasses up here by Tribolt. Okay? So that's where they are. Uh, they're pretty well um, distanced out. I mean, uh, basically on every level and every part of the map, there are some hourglasses. So if you need them, now you know where to find them. All right, now I want to talk about the three portals that exist on the map and where they lead to. Uh, taking advantage of the portals is very important. It's very important to understand where, where they lead, what they do, and how they work. All right, so here is the first portal. It's in the main room. There's a spawn actually right here, literally right here, where you'll be right in front of a uh, machine gun. We sort of talked about this one already, but this portal goes right up here to this bridge area, about right here. So if we go like this, bam, here we are, okay? Uh, this is a very popular portal. People use it all the time. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that. One thing I did want to mention right away is be aware of the direction that you face when you exit a portal, okay? If you are back here shooting at somebody, all right, and you go into the portal, you notice, in any case, I'm going to face the power-up mega, mega item. I'm just going to face this way. So you need to be aware of that when you're... Um, entering portals you need to understand which direction you'll be moving in and what direction you'll face so when we enter this portal we will face the power up item all right the next portal is down here by the rail by the small armor that we just talked about so this portal is actually going to take us to I don't know if i can see it here the nail gun spawn which is right up there so we'll go right there now let's just go through this boom and we actually face towards the lg room okay so we came this we came this way into the portal and we exit facing lg all right this is important as well to understand to know where your blind spots are going to be when you come out of the portal so you're not going to see right away everything that's happening over here 
So your best bet generally would be to jump through the portal and just make, you know, just commit to this area and then perhaps come back here so you have a little bit of cover. All right, but that portal leads to the LG room essentially, which is right here. Now there is one more portal. It's in the shotgun room and it's located right here. All right, and this portal is going to take us, I'll show you first, to this position right here. All right, so let's jump through it. Bam. Okay, so here we are. Note again the, the direction you're facing when you go through the portal. We are going this way, so we're, we're going this direction, but we come out facing this direction. All right, so it's important to understand how that works. Okay, and this would be a great portal to use, uh, you know, if people are in here fighting, you know, maybe you want to challenge, uh, challenging from a lower position like this would not be too smart. So you could jump into the portal and lo and behold, here we are. Now we have a more challenging position. Okay, so those are the three portals and where they lead to. Now, at this point, I would like to discuss a little bit more about the uh, some of the lines of sight and positions of control to be aware of and sort of some aspects of this map that you really want to avoid or be aware of. So Exile, as you know, pretty small. It's a pretty frantic map, okay, especially in Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch. Shotgun and rockets are going to be pretty useful because if you're running around with shotgun, you know, look at all these tight corridors you can get in here. I mean, look how much that covers. It covers like the whole doorway, right? Uh, you can get in here. You got, sh you got rockets and stuff like that. So it's, it's it can be pretty frantic. There's a lot there's a lot that can go on here. So now we're going to talk about, like I said, the lines of sight. First one we're going to discuss is this one down here. I already showed it to you. It's the mega health. You can see I have a clear shot to someone who might be waiting for the mega health to spawn, thinking that this wall protects them. They almost always have a little bit of a shoulder or a leg poking out here. Take the shot. It'll be 90 damage regardless. All right, so that's a very important line of sight to be aware of, okay? Uh, you'll notice actually that you think you can shoot through this stuff, these walls, but you actually can't. This is the biggest hole that you can shoot through. You can shoot through these little holes here, but there's obviously no one's going to be here, all right? So these holes here, you can make a shot through, but it doesn't particularly matter. Not too useful. Okay. Another line of sight you can do here is right here. All right. People like to sit here for some reason. They like to go back and forth. They like to be here. You can poke out real quick to see if someone's up here waiting for the power armor. You can see just a little bit there. All right. Okay. And that's kind of this area here. If you go out too much, you actually expose yourself significantly. So not recommended to be like, hey, guys, just kind of sit like this. You can do this here. You can come up, make a, you know, sneak a quick shot, maybe have a look, see what's going on and then make an exit. All right. Another line of sight is up here. Uh, very popular, shooting down into rockets. Or, excuse me, shooting down into shotgun. But the problem with this one is that portal launches people right here. So if you're too far this way, you'll actually get telefragged. So this position is actually not that great. This is just great if you see someone trying to take the armor. You can, you know, a couple pot shots, maybe throw some rockets that way. But you genuinely just, you know, want to get out of here. Uh, but that is another position, uh, a special line of sight that you can uh, check out. Another cool line of sight. Let me see is this one here you can uh actually with even with the tribal you can contest the mega like this you can just throw it right on down there but an even better way to contest would actually be down here by this portal because you can shoot the portal here and the main thing is you have an exit you can do a couple pot shots maybe things are going well taking some damage boom you're already out of there okay so you can hit that portal um, another, so that's, that's pretty cool. Now let's, uh, talk about one last line of sight that I like to use quite often and it's right here. Now this might not look like much, but if you sit here in the back like this, you can just see where that shotgun will spawn. And uh, like I said, a lot of action happens down here. So if you find yourself up here, there's nobody really doing anything. You see people down here, just, you know, crouch, shoot a couple rockets down here. I have gotten dozens of kills just doing this really quick for three or four seconds and then getting out of here. At the very least, I've done tons of damage. All you want to do is you just want to put the crosshair just below, 
okay the window sill and the rocket will go right through okay so it's a great line of sight to have all right and since we're here let's already start talking about positions of control this is an extremely popular spot for people to sit i think it's very uh comfortable and very safe it's actually not uh you have nowhere to go okay people spawn here they spawn here and they spawn on the other side of the wall and people want rockets you know so you're always going to have people fighting here they're going to come like this and they're going to get you all right so you can be up here to kind of position yourself see what's going on maybe pop a few shots like this see what's going on someone's coming and then you get out of here all right so it's not that bad not that great of a, of a control position a better position is actually going to be right here okay so you have the jump pad behind you but you you can actually go like this you have a lot of room to move around okay and if you want to protect yourself completely from the rockets here you can be on this side okay you can kind of oop, you don't mean to do that you can come down like this and you can protect yourself just by using this wall as cover go back and forth see what's going on okay you can jump across see what's going on jump across again see what's up but this is a also a very popular spot because people are coming through here all the time you know they want rockets they want to do stuff you could even contest the the lg you can just throw some rockets in there you know hmg is pretty popular get some damage going through a rocket all right and so that's a very good uh uh position of uh position of control there my personal favorite position of control is actually this area right here because no one can spawn behind me i have full total control of what's happening to my character i can come up here and i see basically all the ways that people could attack me they're gonna come from here they can come from here they can hit the portal they can hit the jump pad they can come out of this area here or they could hit this jump pad or come out of this doorway i see everything and i'm able to react now the only problem with this spot is i really have nowhere to go so you really have to uh, pay attention to what your stack looks like. And if you see yourself getting beat and you really can't, you know, win a fight here, just, you know, run away. And the best way that I typically run away is I just like to hop across the map like this, you know, and just see what's going on. I don't blindly run to rockets because I just assume that someone's going to be at rockets pretty much all the time. All right. So this is one of my favorite parts to be on the map. I typically will just kind of cycle this area, come down. See what's going on. Oh, someone's here. Someone's like that. Come back. Shoot some rockets. Hit the TP. Oh, someone's trying to jump up on jump pad. Easy LG. Oh, someone spawned nails. No problem. Let's just jump like that. Oh, they're coming. Let's go. Oh, they want to stay here. They want to hit the jump pad. So there's a lot of uh, area that you can cover here. That you can kind of protect yourself. Uh, like I said, we got to be mindful of your ammo because you're running a rockets. But it's pretty simple because you can jump jump right over here, jump up here, you're back at rockets, jump on back, down. Oops, I actually messed that up. You can jump on back down, you know, and again, protect yourself. So I typically like to stay out of this area. This is a hot spot. Everyone likes to be here. Everyone loves to be in this area for some reason. Uh, Ising will put his turret right there. Uh, sore leg loves to sit here, you know, when the power up's coming and then just wait for you to come through the portal and throw the spit at your face. All right. So you got to think ahead of what you're doing and where you're going and, you know, be creative with how you're approaching people. But I'll tell you right now, this bridge area, this section here, the rockets, this area is just more or less a death trap. Everyone's always here fighting for this area. So you can get a lot of kills by kind of standing back. You know, like if you want to, you know, be over here, you can just sort of, you know, throw a couple rockets, see what's going on, and then move along your way. Come here, throw a couple rockets. So, I mean, you don't have to go this way to get rockets. You can jump. Goodness gracious. You can jump here with a little bit of a circle jump here like that and just get up. Every champion can do that, so it's not a big deal. All right. So that pretty much covers uh, the map Exile. It's a frantic, frantic map. You pretty much want to have rockets and shotgun all the time. If you're good with LG, go ahead and grab LG. Try to catch people jumping off uh, the jump pads and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just uh, have fun. Oh, and the last thing about this map is, yes, you can actually... Um, here, I'll just show you. You can actually come to this ledge over here on the outside of the map, but it's more or less useless because you're stuck here. You can't do anything... 
There's nothing to do over here. Uh, but it is cool to kind of look at the map. Nice icy horror that it is, all right? So there's the map, guys. I hope you enjoyed the overview. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I would like to do this for all the maps in Quake Champions. So if you have a specific map that you struggle with particularly, please let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to do an in-depth overview of the map. Tips and tricks, positions of control, lines of sight, and so on and so forth. All right. Thanks so much, guys, for watching the video. Please subscribe, hit like, hit the notification. Got a bunch of quick stuff coming. I will see you in the next video.